Ben Sophia, this is a siren situation. They're expensive, they're not portable, and in newer homes, they're hard to hear. Usually with the TV going and everything, you don't even hear it anyway. Do you depend on the sirens or? Not really. I, I go more by, by the TV. They sort of remind me of car alarms where, where if you hear one go off, people don't really pay any attention to it anymore. We'll find it. And, and we mentioned it too, you know, that was that was an outdoor system that was all it was ever designed for. Right. You can tell it's kind of antiquated. Never meant to be heard indoors. It's for outdoor use only, but a lot of people have come to rely on the sirens. And as you said, you need multiple safety nets. There's a little misconception out there with people that the outdoor warning sirens are made for uh, to notify people inside the residence. That's not the case. Those are outdoor warning systems. When severe weather does hit, many cities rely on those warning sirens to let the public know when to take cover. But as the town of Eagle found out last night, those sirens aren't always reliable. Where there's a loss of power, the sirens stay silent. Any warning system is not 100 percent reliable. This week, a dozen sirens failed to sound for an unknown reason. On Monday, about 12 sirens didn't sound. The siren never sounded. It was broken. The emergency radios are really a far better means of people that are concerned about their safety to have around to, to warn them. Also, the state, national weather service, and of course, our own meteor meteorologists all recommend a NOAA weather radio like this one. And these are powerful weather radios. This is the cheapest life insurance you'll ever buy for your family. The problem is the late night tornadoes. They're rare, but, and what's great about these radios, they have something called same technology, which means you can plug in just your county. So they won't be going off all the time. It's just when there's a warning for your specific county. Two in the morning, you're sound asleep, this thing will wake you up and then you can head to the basement and do the right thing. Not so with weather radios. I have not found a documented case where the radios, where the NOAA radios have failed. Have tornado sirens outlived their usefulness? $20,000 because that's how much it takes to replace one tornado siren like this. And like so many other things, older technology is obsolete. We have to continue to upgrade them if we want to continue to use them the way we are. Otherwise, yeah, they'll become antiquated. And I'm sure people would be interested to know why some communities don't have sirens and why others just don't replace the ones that don't work. You, you know, we talked about earlier, it's, it's money. You know, it's expensive. It's about $3,000 to have that battery backup system. And it's about $20,000 to get the actual new siren. And so it sounds like we really shouldn't solely rely solely on sirens then. No, absolutely not. You know, there's well, the city of La Crosse has eight warning sirens. Houston County is getting ready to add ten more to rural areas. Now, even though sirens are widely used, officials warn you shouldn't totally rely on them. Three of the La Crosse sirens date back to the early 1960s. The Department of Public Works is hoping to replace those soon.